This July, thousands of BMW owners gathered in the Alps of southern Germany for the annual gathering of Beamer aficionados, the BMW Motorrad Days. Motorcycle USA was privileged to participate in this year's festivities held in Garmisch-Partenkirchen, a small mountain town about 100 kilometers south of Munich. Over 30,000 rally goers were treated to a wide array of activities, and the first thing we saw upon our entry was the thumping sound of four-stroke dirt bikes. BMW had set up an outdoor motocross and enduro track, and fans were close enough to the action to get a face full of roost. BMW's top factory riders were turning laps on the HP2, the new 650cc Cross Challenge, and the German manufacturer's prototype 450 Enduros, which are currently being raced in the World Enduro Championship. Also on display were the skills of trials riders. Not something most Americans get to see on a very regular basis. Trials is a much more popular sport in Europe, and rally goers gathered around every time the sound of those small two strokes were heard from the obstacle course. Another popular draw at Motorrad Days was stunt rider Chris Pfeiffer. Riding his special F800, Pfeiffer proved himself to be the consummate showman, doing three shows a day. The German stunner even did some tricks on the HP2 Mega Moto, just to please the boxer fans. There were plenty of vendors on hand with some very cool displays, including these cutaways of the BMW F800 Twin, and, of course, the distinctive boxer power plant. But the activities at the Motorrad Days were only half the fun, as being nestled in the Alps, Garmisch is located near some of the greatest riding in the world. Once the rally wrapped up, BMW took us for an amazing three-day tour through the alpine forests of Germany, Austria, Italy, and Switzerland. It was raining most of the time, but the journey, scenery, and riding was truly unforgettable. The most memorable portion of the ride included a rain and fog-filled ascent up the 48, 180-degree switchbacks of the Stelvio Pass in Italy. 40-something turns, and it's the longest road I've ever been on. In the fog, in the rain. Yes, it was quite an adventure. 